What's going on everyone? Taiwan the Vile bringing you my first take, review, whatever on City of Splendors. It's a MMO RPG type game and slash city builder. I don't know. It's a MMO and it's in the App Store. It's, it's free, I think. It was free for a while. It might be 99 cents. I don't know. It was funny. I got it. I got a download code from the developer and then like the next day they made it free for everyone so I don't know whatever I never really played MMOs it's not really my style but I thought I would try it out just to see what it's like since I got it for free and it was first made for Android and it has a fairly big following on Android so I thought why not check it out Every day you come back, you'll get some prizes. This is the second day playing, so I can draw the two-day prize. Uh, three days, four days, five days, and you know, every day you come back, you get uh, more and more prizes: gold, uh, timber, the little gems. It's the stuff that helps you build up your character and build up your city. So. Um. I mean, so far playing the game, I haven't really come across like a paywall. Uh, you can spend real money to get things done quicker and upgrade your city and character quicker. So here's the city screen. You can collect uh, wood. You can collect the taxes for uh, gold to help you upgrade your shops, upgrade your characters. Uh, cinder wood helps you build uh, upgrades on the buildings, the werewolf guards, and there's other guards you can buy in that uh, in there that help you in the battles. There's the heroes hall that helps you can recruit new heroes to help lead your armies. Uh, the academy up here helps you train uh, new abilities for your warriors and then if you go into the building upgrade any building you can enter the upgrade screen you can upgrade up to the level of your city whatever level your city is currently at that's how much you can upgrade your buildings if you have the required wood and gold or whatever else it needs so this needs two cinder wood and 1986 gold and then as you see every level needs more and more so we'll just you know spend some money here upgrade everything to level 10 and then this will help you get stronger heroes uh, different weapons uh, more attack power, more troops, uh, more money, and stuff like that. It's how you really progress in the game. Like the sawmill hill, the sawmill here that we're upgrading, obviously you use the wood from the sawmill to improve your buildings. And the academy, like I said, improves your technology, your fighting ability, and, and gets you certain bonuses in battle. So, I haven't unlocked the prison yet. I don't know what that does, but I think it does something with capturing enemies, capturing your friends. Because you can, uh, I haven't been able to figure out how yet. I don't have any. I don't think I have any friends on here yet. Cause I just got the game a little while ago. But you can occupy other people's city if you're friends with them you can go to their city and occupy them and steal their resources and possibly have wars with them not really sure on that aspect yet but if you do have this game and you want to friend me uh, my name is just time on the vial as it is for everything uh, you can search for me on the game add me as a friend I don't I'm not gonna play this guy that often but uh, if you do have me as a friend, I will get on every now and then and try to 
steal your resources or something. Or maybe help you. I don't know. We'll see how I feel that day. He will give a little shout out to the soldier for good. S4G. I don't know. Um, it wouldn't let me keep the same. It wouldn't let me keep the name that he was given, even though the computer gave it to him. So I had to change it to something. So there's a little Easter egg for soldier. A little, a little shout out for him. <laughs> now here, you can go to rankings and you can see how you rank up against other players on the servers. Oh, I'm not very good, obviously. I'm 507, I'm not sure out of how many. I'm trending downward, so people are doing better than I am. But that's to be expected because I just started the game and I really don't know what I'm doing. So here we can see the warehouse shows you all your uh, items that you currently have. You can look at equipment and uh, different materials that you have. This shows everything. So this shows all our materials and all our equipment. This screen shows materials and this one shows equipment. The equipment is obviously armors and weapons to equipped onto your players. Now you can also go in and train heroes. So let's train S4G since he's level one and he'll probably get his ass beat down if we went out to war right now. So this sh this shows you you need a thousand uh, gold to train. And you can train only a certain amount of time per day and you can only train up to the level of your city which is level 10 for me right now if you have any items you can go into this screen and you can try to enhance them to higher levels to make them powerful Natasha here has Gula's hammer so we can enhance that for the right price and this enhancement costs 101 gold and keeps going up the more you enhance it um, enhancements will make your items stronger allowing you to deal more damage uh, and to take more damage in the battles out in the world. And this is the army customization screen. You can uh, customize the armor, or excuse me, customize the army manually if you want, or you can just hit the recommended button down the lower left and that will make your army the best that it can with the available heroes, soldiers, and items. So either way, you can do that either way. And you see the ones that are idle can be placed into a new army. So you can select the idle ones, Glenn and S4G were idle, so you can put them into the new army. And now we have uh, no more idle characters, so we can't put any more into the battle. Because Natasha's already on expedition with the first army that we have, as is this guy, whatever his name is, and I here as well. They're all, everyone's active now, so we can't put any more heroes into the army. You need to save your army to make sure that it, it's always there as you set it up in the game. I'm just going to do recommended for the rest. It's going to give me what it can. It, so that, that army is a little weak because we're missing one hero and one group of soldiers. The other army has three heroes and three groups of soldiers, so they're more powerful right now. And that's the army that we'll use out on the battlefield, obviously. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just clicking the screen. So I'm trying to figure out the game at this point. We'll go back to recommended. Now, now I think we will go out to the 
world and see what battles you can get into. If you click on Plane Escape up here at the top, it'll bring you to the world. Uh, and you can battle now the different armies. And as you can see right now, our weaker armor army is uh, up front. If you go to Edit Army, click on the more powerful army, then hit Save. Oops, I didn't hit save. Alright, now the army is saved. Now we can go back to the battle. And we have a more powerful army. Equip, we hit start battle. And now you just, you don't do anything now, you just watch the battle unfold and see based on stats the more powerful army will win so that is the basics of the game and now all you do now is you just try to keep upgrading your stats and your players and your city to get stronger and stronger and to get higher levels and just keep going out onto the battlefield battling uh, the different armies there is a plot of sorts in this game don't ask me what it is because I haven't really been paying attention uh, we're trying to right now we're trying to find Kevin he's some kind of rogue or something I don't know but the ultimate goal is to get to the city of splendors which is this mythical type city that has some importance to the plot I don't know what it is the plot really the game is fun but the plot really didn't capture my interest so I don't really know what's going on and it doesn't really seem to matter what is going on uh, you just 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 keep battling the battles and eventually you'll get to the end I'm presuming and fight a boss so I wouldn't worry too much about the plot it's not going to affect your gameplay if you don't know what's going on. So there is a little button down here in the left that you, that you probably saw during that fight there called Rush. If you hit that Rush button, it will make the fight go like two times speed, so you can get through the fights quicker, which is good, especially since you don't do anything in the fight. All you do is set up your army and hit the fight button. We pissed off that elder. He ran away. Things are worse than we thought. And now we have to go back to our city. And we have unlocked smelting. So now we have a workshop where we can smelt different items um, and try to upgrade different different weapons and, and such. Haven't really messed around too much with the smelting. I don't really know exactly what it does. Uh, I know you can use warp stones, which are the uh, blue gems there. The warp stones will increase the quality more than just the regular gold coins. But the warp stones cost real money. You can earn them in game, but you earn them really slowly. Um, you can use your hard-earned cash if you want to have more warp stones, and you can, you know, obviously buy your way towards the top and, and work your way up the ladder that way. But it, so far, I have found it's not really necessary to spend real money. You just have to put more time in it than someone who has actual money to spend on games like these. yeah that's that's basically all i have to say about this game uh it's if it's free it's worth checking out for sure i'm just i think it's still free so definitely if you like mmos uh then check it out it's, it's worth it's worth checking out for if it's a, it's a free game it's worth checking out and the worst that it, the worst that can be is you hate it and you just delete it so 
I will give it a recommendation to at least give it a try if it's free. If it's 99 cents. That's your own call. I may not have spent money on this game, as these are not really my style, but because it's free, it's worth checking it out for me. Now we are upgrading our buildings again up to level 13 is where we're at as a as a city we can upgrade our buildings and our heroes to level 13 now making us that much stronger so all right this game, this video is getting really long we'll fight a couple more battles maybe we'll fight one more I, we'll fight one more battle here and then I'll call it quits yeah let me let me know what you think in the comment section have you tried this game do you like it um, if you do try it, add me as a friend. You get bonuses for more friends that you have. You can see right now at the top of the screen I have uh, zero bonuses from friends because I have not friended anyone at this point. Uh, now I do have a few friends on there so you get some bonuses and you can go in and steal their resources or help them in different ways. Uh, so yeah, if you have the game and you play it a lot, Go ahead and friend me. I'll be on every now and then checking out the game and and you'll get a friend bonus. If you don't really like MMOs, then definitely pass because this is, as far as MMOs go, this one is just standard fare and there's nothing that makes it, for me personally, there's nothing that makes it stand out in any way as opposed to any other uh, MMO game. I'll just show you quickly before I leave how to conscript soldiers. When you're running low on soldiers, go into this building here, uh, and you can collect soldiers. Uh, you can collect the max. Uh, it will spend your gold, and then once you have collected soldiers, you can assign them to your armies. And different soldiers unlock at different levels. Right now, we just have the werewolves unlock because we have to get to level 15 to unlock the baboons or something they're like apes and they sling they're like a range attack unit but at this point in the game I haven't yet unlocked them so. that is City of Splendors hope you enjoyed it if you didn't don't feel bad because I didn't really enjoy this game all that much either and I'm sorry that this is such a long video. It's probably the longest one that I've made. But I wanted to try and cover all the basics. Give you an overview of the game all in one shot. So leave a like. Subscribe. Let me know if there are any games out there that you would like to see me play. Or, or if you have any questions about City of Splendors, leave them in the comment section. And I will try to answer them as best I can. So until next time, this is Time in the Vial.